what are some of the mistakes that you will suggest aspiring data leaders avoid based on your experience? Sure. I think it's important as a data leader that, or an analytics leader, or so like a chief data officer or chief analytics officer, it's very important that you act as a bridge first. And the biggest mistake, I'm trying to be very focused on answering your question, the biggest mistake that you can make is you get very stuck in the in how you build the, the decision, your analytics, the techniques, and the data. And you forget what is the business impact that you're creating. So it's very important to approach, even for a very deep analytics person, it's very important to approach it in a very pragmatic way, business outcome backwards. So if I say that I want to build, let's just take an example, right? Best, best, best illustrated with an example. Let's say I say, all right, I want to improve the efficacy of how I, in a, in a wealth management firm, I want to improve the quality of wealth recommendations and advice that I'm giving my clients. And let's say I'm, I'm going to use a Gen AI pipeline to do that. Brilliant. Before you jump into what type of foundation model and what data you're going to use to fine tune it, et cetera, et cetera, which, which sounds very attractive because then that would be the most exciting part. But before you do that, you have to have a very clear vision on what would be success criteria for something like this? Is it that you're going to have potentially more clients coming in as a result, or you can scale up the, you know, what's called the TAM target addressable market? Because now that you're using technology, you can reach out to six or seven X more people, uh, prospects, the prospect pool, uh, without increasing the headcount of your firm. Is it that? Is it just about? providing higher level of service to your existing customer, like you are doing this in a, what I would call a wealth advisor assist mode. So that the, 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 the analytics of a Gen AI will assist, make the advisor more powerful, make them more productive, make them more richer in terms of knowledge. Is that it? And what are, you know, so I'm just giving you a few dimensions, but this is where you need to be starting to think about this. And the third dimension, again, connecting business downwards is what is the it, what is the risk that you take remember every return is risk adjusted right there is not, just think about your own life everything that you do carries risk so there's a reward and risk everything is risk adjusted return so when you're thinking about these outcomes that you've been assigned or you're working on a particular initiative cross cross team collaboration what is your risk adjusted return and if you spend enough time on that, you will start to really refine and also prioritize what you want to do first, then what do you want to do next, then what do you want to do next? This is an extremely important pragmatic business skill an analytics leader needs to carry. Do not fall in the trap of, let me do some pilots. Let me just use a few techniques. Let me just pull some data. Let me, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Let's like say hope is not a strategy, right? So this is very critical. And this is the area that I see a lot of analytics leaders being weak. Because when you get asked the tough question, like what is the ROI and what is the risk you carry? These are these have to be extremely well thought out questions on your side. So when, let's say the CEO of the firm asks you, all right, so great, you're the analytics leader. This is an initiative that you're running. Tell me about the ROI. Tell me about the timeline of ROI and tell me why I should be sleeping well in the night knowing that this is not going to blow up on me. And you need to have very cogent answers to these questions. That means you have to have thought it through. That kind of thinking then can percolate down to your team first. Secondly, the kind of work you're doing and then laying out your analytical roadmap and your execution roadmap, roadmap overall. But that kind of you know, outside in or outcome driven planning that you need to do is extremely critical. So there's one skill if there was that I had to give, I would say that is one important skill, skill slash that's an area that I find a lot of analytics leaders, you know, score less than two out of five.